Yo, what? What is up? So, um, yeah, today I want to do a quick, simple review, really fast, on the G Speed chassis on why I think everyone who clicked on this video should buy it. So, um, I have, I think I have 9 or 10 Axial S610s somewhere in my room right now. With me, I have um three. No, actually two. Um, this one um, which I won last month. So uh, yeah, it's the ordinary um S six and two. But um, I have the uh, uh metal Air forty fours on them. And yeah, and I um, this isn't a Holmes hobby and outrun. It's just a normal. I, I think China brand um, Outrunner which I modded thanks to um, people from KK who are absolutely amazing when it comes to modifications so it's one of these the yeah the Outrunners um, I tested it yesterday and it was it was alright but okay um I'm gonna talk about the G Speed so um, I've had this chassis now for uh, seven months now, Sorry. and I have the um, AR AR44 boom racing axles in the front, all all metal, and the plastics in the back because look at the weight distribution, it's crazy. You know? look. So I think this rig uh, weighs about. I would say four kilos, nine pounds, I guess. And um, the fact that I've been using this G Speed um low CG chassis, it has been phenomenal, amazing. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, it's the engineering of it. Look, look at that. So I think the, the um, skid plate is at an angle because when you see when you climb, I guess the COG is like that. <coughs> when on the um, stop, the S X ten is straight, so um, I think you lose that COG. But um, my honest review is it's a game changer. <coughs> I don't want to, you know. Like, I don't want to like bad mouth about the axial chassis, but the G speed is at the very top. I I think I have a brazen brazen chassis somewhere, and I would say <coughs> that chassis is also amazing, but not not as good as the G speed. Um, I've ran um so um, wait, let me just simplify this. So um, we've been having these some um, series races once a month, starting from I think it was like February, January last year, and this kit only arrived. I mean the frame rails only arrived in June, I think, because where I'm from, Brunei, it's really really difficult to bring in stuff from America. So uh, I think it was ninety eight US, and um kindly gave uh sent it to a US address and from that US address I shipped it to Brunei which was another 112 US dollars just for shipping so I spent quite a lot of money on the chassis but um so I got I won this with that chassis get all the trophies there so uh um I know this another chassis G Speed in Brunei um friend of mine bought it from Jordan Pang in Malaysia so um, if any of you Asian based um, fans wanna grab a set of I don't know um, you can go to Jordan Pang on Facebook or Instagram I think it's G-O-R-D-A-N-P-H-A-N-G so yeah you can get the chassis from him but um, apart from that if you get this chassis, um, you will be blown away. I've run 
smallest tires. These are the Hyrex 4.19, I think. I've run voodoo's on it. This kit here. This the voodoo's, right? I've run on the Irox. Any tires, any weight. Amazing. So, um, do you know? Um, just want to say thanks to Gabe and G Speed guys who are involved in the engineering. You guys made an amazing chassis. So, I know sometime this year I'll get maybe two or three more because I need another one. So, um, yeah. That's all from me. I mean, you don't have to subscribe but or like or whatever, but I'm just. It would help the channel. Okay. Thanks, guys.